The Lost Collar Investigation, a story by the Cystic Fibrosis Trust. This is Rosie. She lives in an orange house with her mummy, daddy and big brother Bobby. Oh, and not forgetting their fuzzy yellow dog Milo. Here he is. Hi, Milo. Aww. Rosie's family is a bit different to other families. They have a disco ball in the kitchen. Bobby dresses in black all of the time, and Rosie's mum has cystic fibrosis, or CF. Have you heard of CF? No? Well, it's something you're born with that it makes your lungs sticky inside, which gives you a cough and can make you feel poorly sometimes. Rosie's mummy also has to eat more than other mummies and take special eating pills, because CF can affect her tummy as well. Rosie and her family have a lot of fun, like today. Daddy helps Rosie to get dressed into her favourite sparkly mermaid top, a big blue bow, plum party skirt and purple tights. Once she's dressed, Rosie goes to give Milo his shiny purple collar. But she can't find it anywhere. Hmm, where could it be? Downstairs, Mummy has made pancakes for everyone. Rosie loves pancakes. She has banana with hers. Bobby has peanut butter and jam with his, which Rosie thinks is gross. Daddy has his plain, boring. And Mummy has honey and her special tablets that help her get all the good stuff from her food into her body and keep her healthy. Rosie has decorated Mummy's tablet box with stickers and sparkles. And doesn't it look nice? After breakfast, Rosie checks in the cupboards, on the bookshelf, in the fridge, out in the garden, under the rug, everywhere for the collar. But she can't find it. Mummy says, come on, little Miss Detective. We need to take Bobby to school and then I have my hospital appointment. We'll investigate later. Once Bobby goes off to school, Rosie and Mummy hop on the bus and go to the hospital for a checkup, just to make sure that her lungs and tummy are doing all right. When Mummy goes for her appointments, she blows into a tube that checks her breathing. It's to make sure she doesn't have too much yucky, sticky stuff in her lungs. Dr Chan looks after Mummy. She's really friendly and even lets Rosie sit in her special wheelie chair and draw pictures at her desk. While she's waiting, Rosie decides she might as well continue with the collar search, so she has a quick look around the room and even checks inside the tubes, but can't find it anywhere. Afterwards, Rosie and Mummy go to the park. Rosie has loads of fun, but still feels a bit sad that Milo can't come. Mummy says Milo needs his collar, otherwise he might run off and get lost. Rosie goes on a hunt around Milo's favourite spots in the park to see if his collar is there, but it's not. When Mummy takes her to the ice cream van, Rosie asks the lady if she's seen the collar, but again, no luck. Where can it be? When they get home from the park, Mummy has to take medicine from a special machine called a nebulizer. Even though Mummy doesn't feel poorly just now, she still coughs a lot and has to take a lot of medicines. When Rosie asks about CF, Mummy says, CF is a part of me, just like Daddy needing glasses, and Milo's fuzzy fur a part of them. And even when I cough, my CF isn't catching, so I can't give it to Daddy or Bobby or you. Rosie and Mummy have been busy today having fun and investigating the lost collar. But sometimes Mummy doesn't feel so well and needs to have a little rest in bed. To help her feel better, Rosie likes to paint her colourful pictures and Bobby will turn his music down so that it doesn't disturb her. When Mummy is feeling really poorly, she has to go to hospital so that Dr Chan can give her medicine through a tube in her arm and sometimes she has to stay for a long time. Rosie, Bobby and Daddy visit her and give her lots of hugs to try and make her happy. They even bring her paw print cards from Milo. After she has finished with her nebulizer, Mummy grabs the magnifying glass and joins Rosie and Milo on the lost collar investigation. They look all over the house and in the garden and come up with nothing but some old squidgy raisins, Lego cards and one of Milo's old toys. They are both very tired and hungry after all their hard work and investigating. But what's that? Yay! The boys are home and they have pizza! It's finally bedtime. Rosie gets her PJs on and snuggles under the covers with Milo. As Daddy puts Rosie's dirty socks in the laundry basket, he notices something sparkly and purple and he pulls out... Milo's special collar. You found it, Rosie says, and they all cheer as Mummy puts the collar back on Milo. <laughs> you must have wanted it washed, she laughs. Milo wags his tail and they settle down to sleep. Rosie's Mummy and Daddy turn off the lights. The mystery has been solved. The end. <laughs>